to KP is our health. Electronic gadgets, especially mobile phones, have become a part of our daily lives. In this pandemic with the lockdown, we are using phones not only for entertainment purposes like gaming, watching movies, TV shows, but also to attend online lectures, classes, presentations, webinars, learning new online courses and so on. This excess phone usage is increasing the stress in various areas of your body, especially in your neck. So in this video, we will see how to self-examine your neck posture, whether it is normal or abnormal. Look at various changes that are happening in your body due to prolonged phone usage and look at simple tips and exercises that can relieve you from these stresses. For neck posture examination, sit comfortably, ask someone to observe you from the side. In side view, the ear and shoulder should fall on the same line. If ears are in front of the shoulder, it is called forward head or forward neck posture. This abnormal posture can also be accompanied with rounded shoulders. Let us know the various body changes. Number 1. Eye strain. Continuously looking at the screen can cause dryness, itching and redness of the eyes. This also stresses the muscles around the eyes. Phone screens when seen in the dark, the harmful rays from the screen cause irreversible damage to the eyes. Remember, the damage is irreversible. Number 2. Myopia or short-sightedness that is clear vision of the nearby objects but blurred vision of the far objects. This is due to long duration focusing on nearby screens. Number 3. Change in neck posture. Looking down at the phone is common, but when this posture maintained for long duration, it leads to forward neck or forward head posture and further complications. Number 4. Neck pain. When the head is bent down, gravity pulls the head further down and the neck muscles try to maintain the neck spinal alignment. The more the neck is bent down, greater is the load on the neck muscles and greater is the neck pain. Number 5. Change in neck spinal alignment. When the back of neck muscles work too hard to maintain the neck spinal alignment, they can either straighten or reverse the normal spinal curvature of the neck. This can cause further complications like nerve compression, disc prolapse and other issues. Number 6. Bone spurs in the head. Research had found the growth of bone spurs on the back of the skull or head and related this to excess phone usage and abnormal postures. This might be a normal adaptation of the body to balance the forces in the front and back of the neck. Number 7. Pain in the nearby areas. Neck muscles have their attachments to head, shoulder and upper back. So, excess strain on these muscles can also cause pain in the shoulder, upper back regions and also can cause tension headaches. Number 8. Sleep disturbance. The colorful sight of the mobile phone screen releases feel-good chemicals like dopamine responsible for your alertness. So phones when used during sleep time will not let you sleep, disturbs your sleep-wake cycles and can also lead to insomnia or sleeplessness. Number 9. Radiation. Phone radiations fall under the category of radio waves or microwaves in the electromagnetic spectrum. So, phones when kept near the head region, these radiations are absorbed by our body and are converted into heat waves. Excess exposure of these waves can also cause cancer. Number 10. Effect on children. With elders using mobile phones, it is impossible to stop the kids from using the phones. Along with other problems discussed, in kids, Excess phone usage can affect the eyesight and brain development. Along with that, it can lead to behavioral problems like increased tantrums, aggression, decreased attention span, hyperactivity and mood swings. Children with bones still developing absorb the radiations more compared to adults and so are the effect of these radiations. Other common effects of phone are Nomophobia Addiction to phone increases the stress and anxiety levels and can also affect our mental health. Increased dependence on phones reduces our memorizing, problem solving and thinking abilities. 
Most of the problems discussed are also applicable for the usage of other electronic gadgets. Now that we know the various problems and changes in our body, let us look at simple tips and exercises that can solve these issues. For eye strain, keep the phone at least 20 to 30 centimeters away from the eyes. Use the phone screen at eye level. If you cannot hold it for long, place it on a table or make use of mobile holders and stands available in the market. Never use phone in the dark. Adjust the brightness of your mobile screen and environment according to your eye comfort. For dryness of eyes, remind yourself to blink frequently. Wash your eyes with water. If this is not possible, Use non-medicated eye drops for preventing dryness. For eyesight issues, in between your work, tightly close your eyes, widely open your eyes. Repeat these for a few times. Follow 20-20-20 rule. For every 20 minutes, look at an object at 20 feet distance for 20 seconds. Move your eyes up and down, side to side, rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise and close your eyes for a few seconds and relax. For neck posture, remind yourself to maintain a good posture. The longer we hold our neck in bent postures, higher are the chances to lose the other movements. So do neck movements. Sit comfortably, take your neck back, roll it from one side to the other. Do it for a few times. Next, bend your neck to the sides, ears moving towards the shoulders. Do it for a few times. Next, neck side rotations, chin moving towards the shoulders. Do it for a few times. For pain in neck and surrounding areas, look straight, neck straight, tuck your chin as shown, hold for few counts and release, tuck in and release, tuck in and release. Next, backward shoulder rotation. Look forward, neck straight, rotate your shoulders backward. For next exercise, place your hands at the back of your head. Take your hands back to a comfortable level and release. Hands to the back and release. Again, hands to the back and release. To reduce the radiation effects, for long duration phone usage, use headphones or Bluetooth speakers or phone in speaker mode. While you sleep, keep the phone at least 6 feet or 2 meters away from your head. For good sleep, try minimizing the usage of phone at least 1 to 2 hours before sleep. Eye movements when done slowly for 5 minutes cause automatic closure of eyes. Try them to fall asleep soon. In children to reduce the effect of radiation, download the frequently watched videos to be watched in flight mode. Providing a good family time, play time, interesting diversions can help manage the behavioral issues. Exercises shown in this video will help you in relieving tension headaches, stress related pains in face, head, neck and upper back region. But if you have any other problems like nerve compression, disc herniation, please contact your therapist before starting any exercises. Hope these simple tips and exercises help you in preventing as well as solving the issues related to excess gadget usage. For more interesting and useful information, please subscribe to KP's R Health, helping you to help yourselves. Thank you.